Casper's number one for New Country, My Country 95.5. It is Doc. And Prairie White. And a special guest on the phone who actually saw something very cool in Casper. Wait, Laura, say your last name for me, would you? Yeah, it's Archibald. Okay, Archibald. I was afraid that's going to mess it Yeah, up. we weren't smart <laughs> enough to pronounce it correctly. Yeah, Laura, we saw your post on the Casper's Unfiltered Rants and Raves. What what, what exactly did you see at uh, Dairy Queen last night? Um, I don't know what it was. It was crazy. It was big, very big, like huge. Um, square like it was almost kind of a stop sign shape but more square uh-huh. uh, and it had a lot of red lights around it and it when I first looked over I was like oh my god a plane is crashing and then I realized it was way bigger and totally wrong shape and my daughter I was like what is that Emily we look over at it and I go to pull up my camera and it was kind of like hovering really slow. I pull up my camera to start recording it, and it made a complete, really sharp turn to the north. Huh. Started going over common sense, up over the interstate bridge, and just disappeared. That's insane. And it, at that time, it, it had really like gained speed at that point. <laughs> and it was quiet. There was no noise. And it was low. Like, obviously, if it had, to, like, was it low? Like, I'm trying to do the visual image. You gave such good descriptors. I'm trying to figure, was it, like, low or was it high up in the sky? When I first saw it, it was very low. Uh -huh. Like, it almost looked like um, it could have been landing on top of Burger King. Huh. Oh, that is low, low in the sky. Wow. Yeah, and low enough to make me think that it was going to hit us, like come crashing into us. Uh -huh. Yeah, I saw it on your post on on the on the rants and raves that your daughter thought it might be a drone, but based on the movement you're talking about, I don't see how it could be a drone. No, it was um, definitely not a drone. Yeah, because that was my first I, thought I, too, especially at night, right? Because it was later at night that it was just someone messing around and flying their drone around down there. But yeah, that's so, weird. So have you ever seen anything like this before, Laura? Have you ever seen a UFO before? I have never seen anything like that. I've seen weird lights in the sky, but nothing that I could say for definite was a UFO. This yeah. made that, me a believer. And so what, about what time did this happen last night? Do you remember around 9 o'clock, something like that? or 9.15 last night. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll drop this on Facebook and because I'm sure, especially something this prominent, there has to be somebody else that saw something weird too. You would think, yeah. Right? And it's not so late at night. There might have been other people that were in that area, maybe. Exactly. Yeah, because Dairy Queen was closing, and my daughter and I were just sitting there having a conversation. And you know, it wasn't like a huge busy night, but there were cars in the Castro parking lot and stuff. So hopefully, somebody saw something. Yeah. Well, awesome. Uh, Laura, thank you so much for the time and letting us in on your story. Yeah, we'll, thanks, we'll see, Laura. We'll, see, we'll do some digging. We're yeah, like, let's see if we can solve the mystery like <laughs> we did of the other one. We were we were actually able to solve the Evansville UFOs here a few weeks ago, so we'll see if anybody else has any information about what you saw. That's awesome. Thank you, guys.